Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm going to show you how to transfer your WhatsApp chats from your iOS device to any Android device using a very helpful tool called Dr. Phone. Dr. Phone is a toolkit that includes a lot of tools that can help you manage your phone's data and in this video I'm going to show you the WhatsApp transfer tool. And I'm doing this video for two reasons. First, the tool is very easy to use and the process is straightforward, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And the second reason, there is a big discount from 40% up to 50% on Dr. Phone tools. The discount is taking place from the 18th of December 2019 till the 15th of January 2020. So you can take advantage of the discount. To be able to access this special discount, please click the link in the description below and it will take you to the Christmas and New Year special discount page. When it comes to the price of the WhatsApp transfer tool, it's now as low as $13.17 instead of $21.95. The license will give you full access to the tool for one year up to five devices. So let's check how to transfer your WhatsApp chats from your iOS device to your Android device. But before getting started, let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. The first thing you need to do is to download and install Dr. Phone on your computer by clicking the link in the description and then hit the download button either for Windows or Mac. Then run the file after the download and wait for the installation to finish. Then click on start now button to launch the program. Here you will see all the available tools of Dr. Phone. But for this video, I'm going to click on the WhatsApp transfer tool. You will get more than one option. You can transfer chats, backup your chats on the computer, restore your backed up chats to iOS or Android. So in this video, I'm going to show you the most important process, which is the chats transfer. Once you click on transfer WhatsApp messages, you will get a screen that will show you the connected devices. And here you can choose the source and the target devices. In this video, I'm going to transfer the chats from my iPhone 11 Pro Max to my Pixel 3 XL. And both devices needs to be connected to the PC. Before connecting the devices, you need to make sure you have iTunes installed and up to date on your computer to get the required drivers for your iPhone. And if you are using macOS Catalina, you can ignore this step. Another important step to do on your Android device is to activate the USB debugging under developer settings by tapping the build number seven times, then enable USB debugging. Now you are ready to transfer the chats, so let's connect the devices. Once your iPhone gets connected, it will ask you to allow this computer, just hit allow. On your Android, it will give you a similar message, so just hit allow too. Also on your Android, you might get a message about an app called the connector telling you that it was built for older versions of Android and might not work properly. So just hit OK and it will work normally. Now both devices are connected and detected by Dr. Phone WhatsApp transfer tool. Just hit transfer and wait for the process to finish. Also note that in the middle of the transfer process, Dr. Phone will ask you to do some steps on your Android device. So stay close until the process finishes. Dr. Phone will install a special version of WhatsApp on your Android and then it will ask you to allow the storage permission to WhatsApp. Then it will ask you to activate WhatsApp with the same phone number used on the source device and the skip the restore process. So let's try this. Then give it its time. And here you go, all your WhatsApp chats got transferred to your Android device. If you still need a step-by-step -step guide about the process, the link will be in the description. And if you had any technical issues, you can contact support by clicking the support center icon and it will take you to the website with all the resources you need. And if you still need help, you can chat with the support as well. So that's pretty much it for today. I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.